Okay, so hopefully this won't be too terribly long a video here. I just wanted to uh, kind of fill you guys in um, on what's been going on around here and show you this thing that I managed to get my hands on. Um, so, yeah, the past uh, quite a bit of time, you know, I'm sure you are probably wondering where I was. Well, basically I was just completely bogged down with classes and end-of-semester crap and all that. Um, but now it is officially summer in the uh, school sense, so I actually have some free time on my hands. So now I should hopefully be able to get back to making some videos here, um, which is exactly what I am going to do here. This is something that I found at none other than Goodwill yesterday for none other than $6. This is what's known as the Talking House AM transmitter. What this does is it's got a little wire antenna coming off the back. The idea behind this is it will, it is a, um, it's known in the U.S. as a Part 15 transmitter. That is to say it complies with the um, Part 15 of the FCC rules in terms of being able to broadcast in the standard commercial broadcast bands without needing a license given based on the low power level it uses. So this is one of those things. This particular one is actually designed, uh, given the built-in message recorder, it is designed, um, I believe, for use by realtors. In uh, staging a house, they can record a uh, message into this and have it transmit to a bunch of radios around the house, reminding uh, potential buyers of all the uh, details of the sale and all that stuff. So, um, that's, you know, so that's basically what this thing is. It does also have an aux input on the back that I'm going to try to demonstrate. We'll see if I can make it work. Um, but, uh, that, more on that in a sec. Um, right now, I've got the thing powered up. You can't really see it because of all the sun. Oh, there we go. It's tuned to 1100 kilohertz here, which seems to be a vacant frequency around here. That's tuned using this dial here, um, which just kind of... And that display just kind of follows what you do with that dial. Um, has a little built-in speaker that will mirror what's being transmitted. I'll just turn it off now for this demonstration. Uh, built-in mic for recording message. A little timer that I guess is supposed to count how long your message is. Um, some instructions. Pause if you want to read that. Um, and then this play record switch. So what this does is if you flip it to play that will start playing out the message over the transmitter. Flipping it to record will allow you to record a new one. Now, interestingly, this message does seem to be saved on even when the unit is powered down. Um, I found that by doing that after buying it. Hope you all can hear that. Got it just playing on the sound system behind me in this um, in uh, the apartment I'm staying in for the summer. So it sounds like someone was doing a test run of this thing, but uh, never finished, um, interestingly. So that's, uh, and when you set it to play, it'll just kind of keep playing that. Now, we'll see if we flip this over and turn the back here. We've got the aux input, antenna jack, or a little screw terminal, really. Um, and the power cord, which is hardwired in. Um, it does state in a bunch of places that the uh, ground needs to be present for this thing to work, so it probably uses that. Um, kind of uh, uses it for some uses the uh, safety ground for something other than safety, which some devices do use, and in some cases that's valid. Um, at least somewhat valid, <laughs> I guess. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can get this aux input to work. Um, I just have a an old Sony Walkman hooked up here. We'll just get it outputting something. Uh, I just got it tuned to radio station here. Now, interestingly, though, I don't seem to hear anything coming out of this thing. And that just plays the recorded message. So I'm not really sure what this thing is doing. Oh, it looks like the tuner's slipping a tad. 
let's try and knock that back up to 1100 there. Um, don't hear anything off the speaker. Still don't really... I don't know what this thing's up to. Not sure what the story is with that aux input then. Um, I guess if we wanted to we could hit that and start recording another message and yeah that starts counting down to uh, say how much time we have left. So I just kind of keep talking into this like that and that should record. So let's see if that recorded. Oh that's interesting. seems that the aux input, actually I didn't realize this, the aux input actually is only something you can record from, as opposed to something you can actually just transmit live. Huh. That's interesting, because... Yeah, that's interesting. So now if I pull this, start recording a message, now it should be recording off the built-in mic. Let's see if that worked. Okay, indeed it did. I uh, hope you were able to hear that. Um, so that's interesting. That I didn't realize that that was how the, this unit behaves. It would have been cool if I could get the... Um, aux input to go live, but uh, maybe I'll figure out if there's a way to do that, some way to hack it slightly. But either way, that's basically what I got here. So uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, now that summer's here, stay tuned uh, for more stuff, as inevitably, I will have more stuff to show you. <laughs>